about making women strong. Women are already strong. It is about changing the way the world perceives their strength. Celebrating women, whether professionally or personally, is a sense of commitment to each and every woman in one's life. Hello, greetings and welcome to this talk show. I am Sonali Patta from Mount Carmel School, Barmugalia and on this propitious occasion, before I begin with the session, I would like to place on record my heartiest greetings of the International Women's Day to all the lovely, strong and passionate ladies out there. Women play a crucial role in shaping the society. Every year on March 8, International Women's Day is commemorated. Women need to summon the fortitude to overcome all obstacles in order to achieve success. To mark the success of women in our community and recognize their achievements, we have amidst us Sister Mirin, Principal Mount Carmel School, Bangladesh, sharing with us her views and life experiences. Welcome dear sister and a very happy Women's Day. It's so an honor to have you amongst us. Thank you so much and wish you also a very happy Women's Day. So sister, as we celebrate this cultural, social and economic achievements of women in the society, why do you think that it is important to celebrate International Women's Day? See, Sonali, I think it is very important to celebrate Women's Day. We need a world which is diverse and inclusive. A world which is without bias and discrimination. See, this Women's Day celebration will always help us to motivate women and to empower them. And also, Women's Day will help people to recognize and appreciate the social, cultural and economic achievements of women. United Nations have decided gender equality today for a sustainable tomorrow as the theme of International Women's Day 2022. So sister, being a woman, have you faced challenges or barriers when you have taken up to serve the humanity? See Sonali, challenges will always be there. Surely I have faced many challenges. There are barriers too. I feel with the divine assistance and with the support of my superiors or my colleagues, I could overcome all the challenges. And I feel that I have overcome all the barriers in serving the society. As we have seen leaders as women working from all the spheres of life, all the zones of life, for a better result or outcome, do you think diversity in workplace is important? See, surely, diversity in workplace is very important because diversity creates innovation. I think if there is gender equality, there will be creativity and innovation in different workplaces. Yes, sister, definitely. Sister, what I feel is by the word power, it is like giving orders, it is like influencing people. What does the idea of power mean to you? See, generally when we hear power, people think authority on overpowering all this. But I feel that power is the ability to make changes, to manage issues, to manage problems. For me it is something within, an energy within, a commitment. Or if I am in a position, I should make use of this platform which I have to make changes in the society. I feel it is. Yes. In today's world, women are excelling from all the spheres of life. Being a homemaker, conquering the space. Do you think we need more women in leadership? Surely, because women leaders make 
wise and bold decisions which create a less authoritative impact in the society as well as in the workplaces here we can i think uh, women and their uh, leadership brings a family friendly atmosphere in the workplaces definitely sister family do bring a atmosphere which is very friendly yeah. in the workplaces yes. it was a great thought sister what message would you like to give to today's girls today's girls as we all see they are very vibrant very energetic very smart and enthusiastic isn't it yes definitely yeah see dear girls i would always suggest you be what you are keeping up the dignity and modesty of a girl transform challenges and barriers to opportunities so do not wait for opportunities we should make use of every moment as an opportunity then only we will be able to they will be able to grow and children should plan well set their goal that will lead them to success so regarding challenges we may think that it is we are all facing very many challenges but see we read in the holy bible no temptations have overtaken you except what is common to all and god is ever faithful he will never let you be tempted beyond your capacity but when you are tempted he will also provide you a way out so that you can endure it so dear children you have the courage and power within you recognize it appreciate yourself have confidence and trust in the lord thomas edison says giving up is our greatest weakness so i suggest you try until you succeed trust in the lord and he will always support you have confidence work hard and have perseverance in your life these are the three roads to success keep going success is yours thank you so much sister this conversation with you has been an eye opener and you are an inspiration every woman success should be an inspiration for others we are strongest when we keep each other on don't give up on yourself look inside yourself and i promise that you will find your own inspiration and certain that today's verbal confabulation with sister merin has inspired many to fly high and stop not till the goal is achieved it is rightly said that moment comes when we should affirm ourselves about our action and our dreams aim high and achieve big the world is changing and i'm proud to say that it is due to women like sister merin and all of you this change has been possible let's strive together to embellish ourselves and our community thank you so much sister for being with us it was an honor to have you amongst us thank you everyone and once again a very happy women's day